All right guys, today we're gonna to be talking about and going over something that I find peculiar and interesting in the EDC community, especially as of now, but has been for a little while. There seems to be this very large recurrence and trend of the traditional knife. And I think that initially when this kind of trend came out, I was like, huh, you know, interesting. A lot of people just want to carry, you know, maybe their grandpa's knife or, you know, have something that is classic. But then I started to notice that, and, you know, as time progressed, that there are a lot of newer companies aiming towards traditional knives as well. And so we even see, you know, companies like Jack Wolf Knives and others, you know, producing maybe modern interpretations of traditional knives. And even like Jack Wolf Knives is an interesting brand because they specialize in this type of role. We see many companies like Benchmade with their, you know, proper, and you see other knives or other companies like ZT with their like, you know, designs of slip joint knives that are, you know, more traditionally inspired are just using modern tools. And so this has been definitely a recurrent trend for the past few years. And I think it's continuing to get larger and more predominant in the EDC community. And it's one of the trends that, you know, there's a handful out there that just kind of blow my mind and really make me wonder why in the world this is. In fact, there's even some, I've mentioned, you know, brands that are making classical knives and you know like or making modern interpretations of classical knives um, and once again some like GEC here um, or Great Eastern Cutlery that are you know making modern day traditional knives in the traditional fashion but uh, there are even you know knife um, youtubers or knife enthusiasts that now are very specifically catered towards traditional knives and if that's your niche you know i suppose it is what it is but it just really blows my mind when we're surrounded by some truly incredible you know edc knives and designs and you know um, just such user-friendly tools and then we go back to something that you know has no locking mechanism that is a pain in the butt honestly to open and close it has no clip on it so it's not the most easy or convenient thing to carry or you know draw out and once again you know on the you know premise of drawing out your knife to use it which is what you would do with a knife, you know, to open it and, you know, cut things with it. You know, you go back to a traditional knife that is neither user-friendly nor um, particularly carryable. So it kind of just makes me chuckle in that way that, you know, it's like, I think a lot of people get enamored by the romance of traditional and old school knives. But for me, I think it's just hilarious because these knives are really, in my opinion, I mean, you know, they're the best thing that we had at one point, but it's it's kind of like choosing a flint lock or you know um, percussion cap you know shooting revolver or handgun when you can go out and buy a you know 20 plus one double stack handgun you know it's it's one of those things or nine mil handgun i should say so it's one of those things where it's like in modern times you know you have access to so much vastly better tools that you would purposely or willing willfully you know um, handicap yourself to using a you know kind of tool that is honestly just not really that user friendly especially when we consider once again the whole objective of carrying a knife especially in everyday carry is for you to be able to you know quickly use it to cut open a package maybe you know cut some food up you know do just general basic life tasks and so you know in that will a traditional knife you know um <clears throat> fill those roles yes but it will not fill those roles as well or as easily or as intuitively as modern knives do so for me, it's always kind of boggled my mind that we uh, are going back to or making modern, you know, representations, like I said, like Jack Wolf knives that, you know, they make modern, you know, knives or traditional, you know, slip joint knives that are in the classic style, but made out of carbon fiber, titanium, have S90V blades and stuff like that. So <clears throat> very interesting uh, kind of trend, I will say, but I definitely am curious to hear what you guys' opinion are on this. And I think that ultimately traditional um, knives do differ from, you know, wanting to carry something like a Swiss Army knife. Because a Swiss Army knife at the core still offers more value than just the blade or blades. It's still 
offers you other things like saws, you know, screwdrivers, awls, um, different other tools. And so we could more easily justify, you know, wanting to go with something like a, you know, Swiss Army knife or continue to carry one because they do have distinct advantages over things such as a, you know, a more traditional pocket knife or even a modern pocket knife. So for me, you know, I think the, the primary interest is the traditional knives. You know, if, if you in particular watching this video are one of your, you know, find yourself as one of those people that likes to carry traditional knives, definitely sound off in the comments. Let me know why you think it's, you know, uh, or why you enjoy it, why you like them, or why you collect them if you do. Um, once again, I'm not, you know, like saying I don't have any. Obviously, I've been showing off one of my, this is pretty much my only traditional, you know, um, slip joint pocket knife that I have, just because I really don't enjoy them but uh, you know so I'm not saying that I don't have them I do and I believe that there is a time and place for them and I'd say probably the largest um, benefit to going with a traditional knife as you can see with this traditional knife is that with slip joint kind of locking mechanisms and how they work it is far easier to make a slip joint that has multiple blades on it as opposed to trying to make a you know like liner lock or frame lock or you know one of the more modern kind of lock styles with multiple blades you know a blade on each end or multiple blades on each end so i will say that is probably one advantage to the slip joint kind of classical style knife is that they are far more intuitive to put multiple blades in so if you're looking for a knife that can have either multiple blade shapes or potentially multiple you know um, blades to be used throughout like a period of time without having to resharpen them then you do see some advantage in a traditional knife but by and large you can't really take them apart can't really clean them out and um, once again they don't lock they don't in my opinion, have the best ergonomics, especially when it comes to opening. And I think that's the thing that a lot of people are lost on is, you know, I, the ergonomics of holding a you know, traditional knife is one thing. And I think that for the most part, most good designs, most, you know, good designs are that way. But at the same time too, um, when it comes to opening just about any, you know, traditional knife, they are not very intuitive. And as I've said in other videos, there's been many times where I've nicked myself trying to open a slip joint and blade just because of the way that you have a poor grip um, trying to open and or close them. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys can sound off in the comments. Give me some reasons why you or why you think people like to um, EDC traditional knives. I don't really get it because like I said, having owned a handful, I still have one myself in my collection. I'm not the biggest fan of them personally, but there are quite a few people. And once again, it's kind of like a trend that is being reborn. Like they used to be like, we've come full circle. They used to be, you know, all you could own or all that existed were traditional traditional style knives like these. And so now we've kind of come full circle in that regard. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless, and I'm out.